Hello everybody! Good morning, it's Papa Nash and today I'm cooking a very very simple fish curry. I learned this recipe from my mother-in-law and she's an amazing cook. It's really easy <laughs> and it's fun and I'm going to show you the ingredients in a minute. I'm hoping that this recipe is dedicated for those of you who have never ever cooked in your life and you've often said I can never cook. Today I'm going to cook in a clay pot and it's quite fun and I'm making a small amount of fish curry. I'm only using 300 grams of a firm fish. Let me show you the ingredients. These are the ingredients that we need for the fish curry. The ratio of uh, onion, tomato to fish is two thirds and one third. If you have 300 grams of fish, you need 200 grams of onion and you need 100 grams of tomato. What could be easier than that? Just imagine one, two, three. 100 grams of tomato, 200 grams of onion, 300 grams of fish. If you are making 600 grams of fish, you need 200 grams of tomato, 400 grams of onion, and 600 grams of fish. This is the fish today. It's beautiful, firm fish. And the other ingredients are as follows. You have Baba's fish curry powder, very important. Baba's fish curry powder. And then you have tamarind paste. This is a paste without the seeds. We call it asam. And you also have one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of sugar, and one stalk of curry leaf. And that's all. That's as simple as you get. Let's start cooking. You see here is my clay pot. I'm actually cooking in my clay pot. It's a beautiful clay pot. I've had it a long time. And I've cooked many a wonderful dish in it, including biryani. Uh, I'll do a biryani dish soon. So you start by putting in say 4 tablespoons of vegetable oil. I'm just going to quickly demonstrate how I cut the onion. I'm using red onion. So let's cut it. Thinning. So you want the onions to still have their texture. And that's the size you want. And one garlic clove, also cut chili grass. Tomatoes are sliced thin with one stalk of curry leaf. Now pour the oil in the uh, clay pot and we can begin the cooking. So I have my heat on medium. I'm going to go in with my onions. is pretty quiet today, kids are from school. I'm using red onions, red onions have a lot more flavor but if you don't have red onions, you can use brown onions or white onions. Let's give them a bit of fry, turn the heat up a bit, and let the onions soften for about uh, three to four minutes. What a beautiful color. What you hear in the background is the sound of a kettle boiling. My darling wife thinks I deserve a coffee. So she's making a, a brew coffee, an Indian coffee. So the onions have reduced beautifully. I just went in with the garlic. The one clove of garlic has been roughly cut. So fry the garlic up for another minute or so. And then only I'm going to go in with my garlic powder. Hello. Okay, now we're ready to go in with the one tablespoon of curry powder. I use Baba's. It's a one heap tablespoon of curry powder. Good stuff. The mixture will look very dry. I don't use water. As far as possible when I cook, I don't use any water. I'm ready to try the coffee that my darling wife has made. She's standing behind the camera stand and trying her best to pull monkey faces to make me laugh. That's a pretty dry mixture right there. It's just the curry powder gone in. So this has now been cooking for about uh, five minutes, the curry powder with the onions and the garlic and we are about ready to go in with the tomatoes and the curry leaf. The curry leaf I picked fresh from the garden. Beautiful, easy and the tomatoes are just going in right now. Look, 
lower the flame slightly from medium high to just about medium. Give that a stir. Cook that for another five minutes. Now that the tomatoes have softened and the curry leaves have cooked and become part of the dish, I'm going to go in with the salt and sugar. I just put one teaspoon of salt. I use this Himalayan pink salt, but you can use any salt you want. Two teaspoons of my sugar. I use brown sugar. Give that a stir in there. The next ingredient I'm going to go right straight in is the tamarind paste. You can buy tamarind paste in blocks, but then they come with seeds and it's more work to remove the seeds by adding hot water to the blocks and taking out the seeds. You can buy seedless tamarind paste, such as this. And I'm just going to go in with two teaspoons to taste. This one, because you don't want it to be too sour. This, this is a Chinese style fish curry. The flavours have to be a mixture of slightly salty, slightly sweet, slightly sour and there's no added chilli. So it's not a curry that's hot but it's a curry that's extremely flavorful. Oh, it's beautiful. Lower the heat slightly. I'm going to boil my kettle because I'm about to go in with at least one cup full of boiling hot water. And here we have the hot water. I'm going to reduce the heat slightly and that I'm going to taste it for the salt, for the sugar and for the sourness before I add the fish. Now if you like some vegetables in your fish curry, at this stage you can put in some slices of your aubergine, you can put in slices of lady's finger or okra and then when the fish goes in, I cover the clay pot, I put the heat on low for 5 minutes and then I open it up and just check the fish is done. It's that simple. I just tasted it and wow! The sourness really comes through with just two teaspoons. So I won't be using the balance of my tamarind paste because you don't want it to be too sour. And there's a hint of sweetness from the two teaspoons of sugar. You don't want it to be too sweet. It tastes amazing. So since I'm not adding any more vegetables, I'm ready to go in with this beautiful fish. It's a firm fish, you can use any type of firm fish. This is about 300 grams. I'm just going to layer it on top of the dish. I'm going to happily close the pot. And voila, like magic, I'll show you what it looks like in 5 minutes. So you can cook this curry in 20 minutes. Amazingly simple fish curry. Look at that. That's all you do. Make sure the pieces are coated. Once the fish is cooked in about 5 minutes, I don't like to move it around because I don't want to risk breaking the fish. And that's it. I'm just going to cover it. And let it do its thing for five minutes on medium, medium heat. Voila, it's been five minutes and I've turned the heat down completely and the curry is done. It's an amazing curry. Oh, it's a, the smells are superb. The, Everything is beautiful. I haven't touched the fish. You can see by looking at the fish, the fish is done. And because it's a clay pot, it will continue to cook and bubble. I just cover it. And there you have it. A beautiful dish. So this is Apanesh. Very, very happy to be able to share a beautiful recipe cooked in a beautiful pot. And it's a simple recipe. It's a 20 minute fish curry. I call it the Malaysian Chinese style fish curry. We also do an Indian style fish curry where we don't add any sugar and we make it a bit spicier. We use more spices and we make it a little bit more sour as well. This is a recipe I learned from my mum and all and it really inspired me because it's simple and it's tasty every time. I would love to think that anyone who watches this video is inspired to try it. You can use a regular cooking pot, you don't need a clay pot. Any cooking pot will do. Right? Simple ingredients, a little bit of good fish and you have an amazing fish curry. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends, especially friends that say, I don't know how to cook, I can never cook, I will never cook. Let us try and make cooking simple so that everybody can cook.